Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about a very unconventional, uncommon, counterintuitive fatty liver cleansing tip, okay? Um, before I get into the tip, I just wanna give you some basics about the liver. The liver is about three and a half pounds. It sits over on the right side, right about here. It has 500 different functions. Here's the problem. When someone develops a fatty liver, there is virtually no symptoms at all. Now you start to develop a gut, but it's very rare to have symptoms until it starts becoming more advanced. And then eventually the person starts getting fatigued, weak, nausea, abdominal pain, right shoulder pain, pain in the upper right trap, maybe some headaches on the right side, pain in the right rhomboid back here. But what happens is you have this fatty liver and then eventually, after years of inflammation, you get cirrhosis, and this is scar tissue that builds up in the liver. And in this process, you basically lose function of the liver. You lose the ability to detoxify, okay? So you build up toxic waste. You also build up excessive amounts of cortisol because the liver is the organ to help buffer and regulate excessive amounts of cortisol. That's the stress hormone. This is one of the causes to a, an adrenal uh, fatigue problem. Also, you start building up excessive amounts of estrogen. This can manifest as many different things. Uh, one, man boobs, um, a woman that's estrogen dominant. You can have cancer. So a functional liver is really important in the detoxification and regulation of these two hormones right here. The other problem is when you have less function of the liver, you get less bile production. And if you're not producing enough bile, you can't break down toxic waste. You can't break down fats. You can't actually absorb vitamin A, D, E, K, omega-3 fatty acids, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, there's two different categories of a fatty liver. Uh, one would be caused from drinking too much alcohol. The other one is not. The other one is a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. You can develop that from eating very poorly. And the big thing that causes a fatty liver would be fructose in the form of high fructose corn syrup. It's in the sodas, it's in the food. In fact, fructose is 20 times more likely to cause a fatty liver than any other sugars. And as far as the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, 25% of the population actually has this. Uh, but not just overweight people, not just people with a gut. Skinny people are twice as likely to die from a fatty liver than overweight people. Probably because they're skinny and they think they're healthy and they can eat whatever they want, so they do eat whatever they want. Now this next point was quite interesting. There's actually many studies on this, but here's what happens. When mice are fed methionine and choline deficient diets, they get a fatty liver, but they don't gain weight. They don't get insulin resistance or diabetes. They just get a fatty liver. Methionine is an amino acid, and choline is an essential nutrient in the B vitamin family. And methionine is a precursor, a building block to the most powerful antioxidant in the body, which is called glutathione, which is a sulfur-based compound that helps you break down chemicals. And choline is a, called a lipotrophic nutrient. It actually dissolves fat in the body and it can actually strip off fat from your liver. So now let's get into the counterintuitive tip that I'm gonna talk about. Um, typically when you think about uh, liver cleansing uh, or getting rid of a liver problem, you're thinking of uh, juicing a vegetable cleanse, uh, consuming low fats, consuming lower amounts of meats, things like that. However, when you do that, you only get a certain amount of results. Because check this out, the foods that are loaded with choline are egg yolks, liver, grass-fed dairy, and cruciferous vegetable, okay? Methionine, you have beef, chicken, pork, nuts, fish, eggs. So two of the most important nutrients in correcting or reversing a fatty liver involve foods that are higher in fat and protein. So if you want to cleanse and heal a fatty liver, you don't wanna go low fat. You don't wanna keep your protein too low. Moderate protein, not excessive, but you don't wanna start cutting out all these foods right here. So instead of doing juicing or only vegetables, you should do a combination of the cruciferous vegetables 
and fattier proteins, including egg yolks and fish. Of course, make sure they're grass-fed. Now, there's two goals with detoxifying a fatty liver. One is to get rid of the toxins, of course, because the liver has a function of detoxification. So the cruciferous vegetables are loaded with the phytonutrients to help create this effect. And by the way, certain animal products, uh, organ meats, uh, fish, seafood, also have antioxidants to help remove toxins from your liver. It's not just vegetables. So we wanna actually do something to get rid of the toxins as well as get rid of the fat. And to do this, you must lower your carbs. And this is why healthy keto, the healthy version of keto is necessary. And that basically means the concept of low carb with a lot of vegetables. So that would be essential. And then of course, intermittent fasting. Why? Because intermittent fasting forces your body to use up your glycogen reserve and to run off fat. So it kind of creates a vacuum to pull the fat out of the body. Uh, and that's what's needed to start to deplete the fat in the liver. I also suggest that you take choline as a supplement. You can get methionine from the protein and you can also get choline, but if you take some extra choline, uh, I recommend about four to 500 milligrams. You can even go as high as 3,000 milligrams uh, if you want, but typically I always start out about 300 to 400 milligrams of choline. You can get it in a tablet or get it in a powder and start consuming that. What that will do, it'll start to dissolve the fat in the liver and speed up the process. So of course we wanna add the cruciferous. I would recommend steaming or slightly cooking these um, because that will release more phytonutrients. Uh, eggs are essential for the choline. Uh, quality protein, of course, don't uh, get this at 7-Eleven. Go to the health food store and increase the quality. And the last point I wanna bring up, which is really important, is if you try to cleanse the liver, especially if it's a fatty liver, with a low-fat diet, you will not have enough bile to help detoxify. One of the functions of bile is detoxification. So bile is not just about absorbing fat soluble vitamins. It is about making sure the liver can purge some of the toxic waste. And what triggers bile? Higher amounts of saturated fats. This is why you want to keep consuming egg yolks, maybe even organ meats and moderate amounts of protein to make sure you release the bile and you don't become deficient in methionine or choline. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.